Open Subdiv's limit surface is one of the most powerful and overlooked features in Houdini. It represents the true, infinitely smooth shape that a Catmull Clark mesh converges to, not a polygonal approximation. The limit surface allows exact, resolution independent sampling of attributes at any parametric location. Houdini 20.5 does not provide surface derivatives in the open subdiv VEX functions, but since Catmull Clark limit surfaces are defined as bicubic splines, open subdiv derivatives can be computed analytically. Unlike analytic methods, the measure SOP doesn't compute curvature from derivatives. It uses discrete differential geometry, integrating over polygonal neighborhoods, and returns an averaged result over dual cells, rather than evaluating curvature at a single point. The blockiness here isn't due to bad topology, it's an inherent limitation of discrete curvature methods. Without true surface derivatives, curvature is approximated from face angles, not the actual shape. Curvature from the limit surface is smooth, continuous, and resolution independent, with accurate principal directions and magnitudes. Differential curvature assumes C2 continuity, which occurs only in quad meshes with valence 4 vertices. At extraordinary points, the surface is only C1, and curvature becomes ill-defined. Only VEX provides the low-level access needed to evaluate geometry directly on the limit surface. This isn't achievable with non-VEX SOPs. Learn more at Pragmatic VEX, Volume 1.